Hey guys, so I wanted to do a follow-up because I feel like it's needed about my interview with the ex-Tesla employee Tyson Park. It definitely sparked quite a debate in our comment section and I really wanted to just share with you guys why we made the decision to post this video. We felt that it validated some of the customer service complaints that we've had verbalized so often by you owners out there, especially during the heart of the Model 3 ramp up. When I originally did get in touch with Tyson, he told us that he in no way wanted to bash Tesla. And if you watch the entire interview to the end, he actually spoke about how much he loved Tesla and the mission. I loved, I loved with all my being telling people when they asked me what I did for a job that I worked for Tesla. That was one of the coolest things that I've ever been able to just. I also think that it was extremely brave of him to speak publicly. We've had a really hard time finding employees who are willing to talk candidly due to NDAs with Tesla, but a couple of them actually came forward and reached out to us privately to share their side of the story as well. But before we get there, I do want to remind you guys about the Chicago Chesed Funds Tesla raffle that's right around the corner. CCF is a nonprofit group in Chicago that helps families that are in critical need with services like single mother assistance and financial support. They're raffling off around 5,500 tickets for a chance to win a Model S, 3X, Y, or cash. And they're giving a discount to the first 300 Like Tesla viewers who purchase two tickets. It all goes towards a great cause and you get a chance to win a Tesla. I will say that I was surprised by some of what Tyson said during our interview. Like when he talked about how he feels there may be as high as a 25% infiltration rate within the company by other legacy automakers. The very strange hiccups that I would find, it would not surprise me if there was about 25% infiltration from other companies like Ford, Chevy. And when he said that he believes that things are getting worse, not better. I've had a hard time believing some of this. Maybe there has been some infiltration, but 25% seems a little exaggerated to me and incidents are likely far more isolated. I also truly believe that things are getting better, not worse. I don't wanna though discount anything that he said or his perception, but we did receive several messages from people who not only worked with him directly, saying he may have exaggerated some of those experiences, but we also heard from others within the company in various high level positions who wanted to shed some light on Tesla's image in terms of its company culture. They told us that a lot of the public perception of working at Tesla is actually extremely flawed and distorted from what is actually the truth and the reality of working there. Sure, they may have had periods of being short-staffed or overwhelmed to perform under tight deadlines, but what professional career doesn't pose those kind of challenges? All major corporations face internal struggles. This is especially true in the tech space with companies such as Apple and Uber, and in the disruptive industry that Tesla operates in, they're certainly not gonna be immune to any of that either. So that being said, I do believe some of what Tyson told us. Most people who've been following this company from the beginning know that there is some internal turmoil, so it wasn't surprising to hear about the micromanagement and the massive layoffs. I'm also not going to pretend to understand the inner workings of running a publicly traded company, but I'm sure they've had to make really hard decisions based on situations just like this. And to some extent, those layoffs explain the unanswered emails and voicemails and the long wait times that we've all heard about or experienced personally. I would really love to make only those happy videos and the positive videos, but I also get a lot of messages from all of you guys and I feel this obligation to share constructive criticism when it's necessary, which is why we feel every so often it's important for us to post these kind of videos. And with this platform, we're able to raise attention to specific issues and I think that the overall 
customer experience is one that still does need some improving. And taking a look from the inside out always helps. I want Tesla to succeed and they already make the best cars out there. And by many counts, they are the best in the most important metrics and safety, performance and efficiency. I mean, when we first got our Tesla more than three years ago, their service was otherworldly. We started this channel in part because we were just completely blown away by how we were treated. Every time any kind of issue arrived, they would call us and they'd pursue us and they'd rectify just about any concern that we had, whether it was our fault or not. And this, coupled with their incredible products that they sell, just put them in a league of their own. I want them to get back to that. I don't want to read that your messages that are asking for service help anymore and I think that they can get there. And with all this being said, I still believe that these are just growing pains for the company and I think they're already improving their systems right now. So in terms of training, we recently learned about a fascinating internship program they're beginning to implement across the US for up and coming employees. It's set up to provide students with the skills and knowledge they need to step directly into jobs at Tesla service centers after they finish their training. Students get to learn the ins and outs of repairing Tesla vehicles as part of their so-called Tesla Start program. This is just an example of programs that Tesla has already implemented and hopefully leads to better employee training. And I've linked this full article for you guys to read. It's from a local newspaper, the Mercury News. Um, it's in the description if you wanna hear more about it. So I've always really enjoyed reading your guys' thoughts and your experiences, not only about your EVs, but also from a customer service perspective. So feel free to engage with the community in the comment section below, but please remember to be respectful of others' opinions um, when you're commenting in there. And as always, if you've enjoyed our video, please press the like button as it tells YouTube to share our videos with other like-minded people. And always make sure you subscribe and you've hit the bell for notifications notifications and thank you guys so much for watching and remember to stay current. Mm -hmm.